Hey guys, it's time for a big ad tutorial. I'm already in Adobe After Effects and I've imported the clip that I've used for the intro of this video. I filmed this in 4K, but I'm working in a 1080p composition right now. So later on, I will be able to scale the head without losing any quality. So for now, we will have to scale this clip back to 50%. And now I'm gonna duplicate this video and make sure you turn off the audio for the second clip and I'm just gonna disable the first clip for now, we don't need it. Now double click on this clip and select this Roto brush tool. Now your cursor will turn green and we will have to select my face because that's the part we're gonna cut out. That's it. Now this doesn't look too good, so you will have to add and delete some parts. So you can delete a part by holding Alt or Option and just select the part that shouldn't be in the selection. And we also don't need the neck. As you can see, sometimes it works well, sometimes it really doesn't. So you have to spend some time creating a good selection. Yeah, this is just ridiculous. So let me just change the, uh, the brush wheel quick. Just select a bigger one. And when there's not a lot of contrast in a clip, of course it's harder for After Effects to know uh, what should be selected and what not. Yeah, this should be fine for now. And I'm pretty sure that if I will render this, um, it will look weird at some point. If that happens in your case, you will have to unfreeze it again and change a few keyframes. Use the roto brush to fine tune them and um, yeah, it, it can take some time to, uh, to create a perfect mask. But for now, this is fine. So just make sure you select the whole clip. There we go. And now you have to hit this freeze button. And this can take up quite some time. But uh, yeah, let's go. Okay, so let's just check if it looks a little okay. Yeah, that's some parts here that really aren't good, but um, I'm not gonna fine tune that right now. So let's go back to our composition. And here you can see the cutout we've just made. Should add some feather to this. That will make it look a little better. And now let's just open up the hidden video again. And now all you have to do really is just scale the, uh, the cutout face. So 60% should be fine. Move it around a little bit. Make sure it covers the ears and stuff on the background. See, you have to be careful with that. Something like this should be fine. And you don't need to do any tracking because the, the video has the same motion as the original. It's just a cutout and we just scale it a little bit. So you don't need to do that. All right, so when we render it, it looks like this. Pretty fun effect, but uh, like I said, take some more time to fine tune the edges and uh, it will be pretty awesome. That's it. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like this stuff, please hit that thumbs up or please just subscribe. And if you still have any questions, just drop a comment below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. <clears throat>